good for right. a brother, take a brother to work. You get a right. flat tire, getting hungry, got McDonald's down the street. You don't gotta worry about none of that when your house size king. But we're gonna have to go through this BS while we're here. Because we're here, we gotta make the most of what we right. got right now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna preach the gospel. Like it, like it was a commandment. The Lord commanded us to do it. So like go ahead. Is, oh, yeah. yeah. We're not gonna be worried about y'all poking at us what we do. That's right. Bro. We already know that's y'all's mission all of a sudden is to just poke at the men that are out here preaching. So we, you know, it's like as you live in life, you have different ailments. As we doing the Lord's work, we're gonna have different ailments, different little bothersome entities that wanna come and mess with you. But hey, it is what it is. You just continue on in the faith. That's, that's right, Akia. You don't have to respond to everything that's said. And, and some of them are right. All the names calling, it is silly. But you know what? We're just going to continue on and preach the word. That's right. Like Y'all say, you know, the, the apostles are being lords, masters of everybody. Stop. Stop lying. Right. Stop trying to swindle the truth. And reach it, man. That your, your new doctrine. Because it ain't going to work. You reach our teeth. not even really that upset. Just this whole thing is silly. This whole thing is silly, and we know that it's just another element that we got to deal with. We just gonna keep preaching the gospel. Uh, Proverbs chapter twenty-five, verse nineteen: Confidence in an unfaithful man in time of trouble is like a broken tooth and a foot out of joint. And the reason why he's going into that because we were going in just a second ago with the whole voting ordeal. Donald or Hillary, or oh no, I'd rather have Obama stay. Jake don't know what it win. It says, can you read it again? So like, I know I do that quite a bit. Uh, Proverbs 25 and 19. Confidence in an unfaithful man in time of trouble is like a broken tooth. Are Ooh. we not in the time of trouble right now? <laughs> World War III is about to hit. Man. But these people still wouldn't have confidence in Egypt. They still wouldn't have confidence in, in Pharaoh. They wouldn't have confidence in somebody who is literally detrimental to your destruction. That's right, brother. You know? Go ahead. Uh, it's like a broken tooth and a foot out of joint. You ever you ever broke your tooth before? You ever you ever chipped a tooth? Agony. Or you ever sprained an ankle or broke your foot? That's how it is having conf confidence in this kingdom, in America, in the president over here, in that voting booth. You better off chilling, not doing it. That scripture pretty much is telling you don't vote. Why? We, we in America, bro. This place is continually going to be against you until our Lord comes back into this place is put on fire. Seriously, you know, when you have a hole in your tooth and that wind hit it, you in agony. Agony, yeah. bro. Agony. Yep. You know, that happened to me in college. They had to call my parents 30 miles away to bring me some medicine. Yep. You know, that, that, that's agony, man. You know, that there's no comfort in, in these people that are unfaithful. They're not faithful to the, the people on the side. That's right. You know what I'm saying? They said all these lies to get these niggas on the side just so they get in office, man. That's right. They're not faithful to the people. They're just trying to push toward the agenda of the elites, man. That's right. You know, so same way with a broken foot or you can sprain an ankle or something like that. You're in complete agony and no comfort in that. You can't walk. It seems like all the best shit happened when you can't walk, but everybody have to walk. Right. Playing basketball or something, going on or something. Your ass left out, man. You know, that, that's how it is, man. Having confidence in this whole unfaithful society. Also, that's right, brother. It's white, man. That's right, brother. Yeah, the scriptures tells us not to vote for nobody against our nation. The only people we're supposed to elect, we're supposed to vote for, Ultimately, the only person you're supposed to vote for is your high boss, Shimmy Hawa Shot. That's right. And when I say that, I don't mean go to the booth and write his name you know in. What I know it says. <laughs> 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 Hillary, but I'm a... Right. You're right. You write his name in paper. You threw it and slotted in there. I did it. That's all I had to do. No, man. No, but. Yeah, high boss, Shot. 2017. Put the fire in the background. Yeah. Come on. Man. You know what I'm saying? Orange cream. <laughs> about to get it. You know what I'm saying? No, man. That oh, means man. walk in his ways and do what he told you to do. That's right, Aki. And a part of that is catching hell right now for when that kingdom comes. That's all he wants you to do. When he, when you vote for your house side, that's what you're doing. Right. You you applying this book in your life daily. You applying his ways in your, law, in your walk daily. You living in the spirit. Walking right. in the spirit like the Person scriptures say in Galatians, the, the fifth chapter. You know? So, it's kind of going off a little bit, but not really. Hey, if it's in the scriptures, it ain't going off. Yeah, I mean, we're off the topic a little bit, but, but it's going to be hey, tired too. It's cool, it's cool. This is uh, Hebrews 13, I mean, 11 to 13. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them before all. It, it, it ain't even going off topic, because when it says these all died in faith, they died in the faith, they walked in the spirit, they voted for Yahweh Shah. 
they weren't involved in the ordinances of this world. They had their minds set on spiritual things. Like when it says in Matthew the sixth chapter, set your affection on, on spiritual things, not things of this world. Kind, right? These are the men that died in this truth. Like you would have read in um, Ecclesiastes the seventh chapter, the first verse, to keep a good name. Right. It's speaking of these men back then, and that's that good name. That you was gonna say so? And when you read down to the 27th verse, it goes down line of all our forefathers. That's right. The 27th verse, it goes to Moses. Mm -hmm. Now it says that he, instead of um, enjoying the uh, pleasures of Egypt for a season, he decided to suffer with his brothers, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? He didn't, this is spiritual Egypt right now. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. We're not suffering the pleasures that we can have on the side in the promised sense. That's we're right. We're going to suffer in the truth, man. Right. And not having faith and having have, have confidence in unfaithful man like Esau. That's a great point. Not, not, not uh, like Isaiah, 30, Isaiah chapter 30. Mm -hmm. You know, trust in the shadow of Egypt, man. We're not going to do that, man. We're not going to go vote. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna will your how about to, to come and set up the right for man. That's right, Akia. Yeah. That's a great point. God, and, uh, it says, Good, bro. Nah, and we're persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers, uh, confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. Because, you know, we, we confessed that, you know, we, we was away from the truth. You know what I'm saying? We, we wasn't born no we Hebrew Israelites, you know, the Lord's chosen. And, and not, not being circumcised, you know, being circumcised and, and uh, not eating defiled meats. We was, man, we was just born doing all those wicked things, eating uh, chacharones. Chicharrones. Chicharrones. Chicharrones to whoop hey. them in your hand like this. Hey. Like hey. y'all hey. just like hey. hey. stuff with a, with a pork rinds in your hands, bro. This is probably, probably three, about five, four, five years ago, I was man. at a little Mexican restaurant. Uh, uh, grocery store, they actually sell it with the meat still on it. And it was, I was like, damn, these uh, <laughs> sport skins with the meat on it. <laughs> oh, I'm the hair meat. Yeah, yeah, kind It says, uh, uh, but, but, uh, it says, uh, but having seen them afar off and were persuaded of them and embraced them and confess that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. That's right, and that's uh, strangers and pilgrims on earth, meaning we just passing through this earth, man. Mm -hmm. Right. That's, right. that's what we're doing right now, man. Uh, that's why we ain't supposed to put our whole spirit and vibration in this place, because we know ultimately the Most High is going to destroy it. Right. So you do what you got to do. You, you, you get your daily, daily bread. bread. You operate in a manner that's conducive for you to do the work as far as the ministry goes, but we just passing through, man. That's why the scripture says, and I think in Colossians the third chapter, set your Perfection. affections on things above. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we searching for man. a kingdom, man. That's right. So that's why we ain't worried about casting no damn vote in something that's gonna ultimately keep this Edomite uh, system going, man. Yeah, the white We're looking supremacy. for your Shah's kingdom be established on this earth, man. So we just pass it through. That's the point. God, man. God. I keep reading. For they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. That's right, and that's what we're doing. We're confessing plainly that we're seeking the country. And like the brother just brought out beautifully, because I, I didn't even think of it like that, but when you pass passing through this place, you're seeking for something. That's right. We're seeking for a kingdom. Uh -huh. And how are we seeking? We're looking. Precepts, how to walk in the spirit, be circumspect, be a brother. Okay. Okay. Just so we can acquire that in order to receive the kingdom that the scriptures promised us, that the Most High promised us, okay? 